Sally, what's the route we're taking today? Can you tell me? Yeah, we're going to drive up to the elevation around 980 meters or so. Okay. And from there we will hike to 1100 meters where the new lava is. Oh, so we're going to be on Modi we're, and Magni? Yeah, we are going to be on the two new craters. Okay. These craters was formed in 2010, okay. right before the eruption in Eyjafjallajökull. This we used to call a cute little tourist eruption. Okay. But it woken up the beast. They woke the beast of Eyjafjallajökull. The hiking path that we are going yeah. to drive and hike, yeah. it's in between the two glaciers. Okay. Both Eyjafjallajökull, which you know, and Myrdalsjökull. Myrdalsjökull, that's where Katla is, if you've ever heard of Katla. Katla, Katla is, is the volcano that is, everyone is ex expecting ah, yeah. to blow at yeah. any moment. The big evil system. It's, over, it's overdue, it's yeah, overdue. Oh, oh, like, really overdue. Two times every century, 50 to 70 years between. And when was the last time 1918. it went? We've been waiting since 1970. What are the chances be. of an eruption while we're up there? Oh, there's always chances of an eruption in Iceland. <laughs> It was quite damaging for Iceland's image. You know, this tiny nation. Yeah. And first of all, that you had a massive banking crisis, yeah. which annoyed everyone. And then you grounded everyone's airplanes for, a, you oh, know, you think for about like a month. And we, we think Iceland is nothing but trouble for the rest <laughs> of the world. <laughs> it's the mother of all insurance claim. <laughs> you go bankrupt, so you set the island on fire. <laughs> You said sand cash? Oh, we thought you said sand ash. <laughs> <That> was... <laughs> I think I have pictures of the eruption. Yeah. That's hot lava coming yeah. out. We used to call these lava falls. God, it's lovely. I'm excited. I'm glad. <laughs> Last year, this was completely covered up with ashes. All this area. And the grass has just started to grow yeah, on top. Yeah, the grass just started to grow on top. It's really fertile, so in the long term, it will help out. We're on a volcano, guys. We're on it right now. Yeah, yeah. there's slopes of Everton. We're on oh, the mountain, look, look at the not the glacier. Yeah, this is the waterfall that we saw earlier. Oh, this is the top of the waterfall. We seem to have run out of road. <laughs> no, Marcel, please don't open the door. Come. <laughs> I'm trying it. <laughs> wow. We okay. can leave the car here. Okay. We have landed. We have landed. <laughs> On planet volcano. Whoa! It's actually for about seven degrees Celsius here but the wind chill and these needle-like rain makes it feel much colder. Visibility is very poor, but it's something elemental and amazing about walking on top of a volcano. I still don't understand why you're wearing black. It's like you want to blend into the surroundings <laughs> like an Icelandic ninja. Yeah, well, if we have some problems, then I can run away. You're just going to disappear. <laughs> I know. Look at you. <laughs> just with the elemental weather and the black ice and the volcano, it, in a nice way, it's a little bit like going for a hike in hell. You imagine, you know, this is kind of where Satan goes backpacking. This is so you can get a better look at the fantastic view of sideways rain, volcanic ash and ice. Are you wet? Yeah. All the way through? Not quite, but I think it will be in a minute. That's the point though, right? <laughs> we are now standing on the slopes of Magni. This mountain here is 120 meters high. Okay. It's an all new. The crater from the first crater from Eyjafjallajökull is right in there, and this new mountain is right here above. We are going to walk up to that, and of course, we have the lava fields from this eruption all this around us. This is an entirely new mountain. This is an, an entirely new mountain. On a nice day, this Go on, is tell me, beautiful. Tell me, tell me what it would be like. Ah, 
well, we wouldn't be soaking wet right, like yeah. we are right now. We would see this whole new lava field and you see how sharp the edges are on it. Yeah. And it's still steamy because it's, it's is, still glowing underneath. Is it? Yeah. This is actually really quite hot. I might just dig myself a hole and stay here until the weather improves. Yeah. 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 Excellent idea. Okay. We'll, we'll come on Monday and pick you up. Okay. That'd be great. <laughs> this is amazing. This steam coming up from the ground and this occasional popping sound as the rain hits the hot rocks. It feels like the aftermath of a fire. This is Magni. It's a year old. Yeah. <laughs> this volcano is younger than my children. Is it younger than the shoes that you're melting right now? Oh, they are melting. Oh. <coughs> Marshall! Where are you going? I want to go this way. This is the top. He's racing me. Welcome to the top of Magni, guys. If you dig 40 centimeters into the ground here, it's 700 degrees warm lava. So the water trickles down and then is vaporizing. Yeah. You can actually see it frying away down there. Oh, what a fantastic <laughs> smell. <laughs> Mustard, fantastic, it's perfect. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, it's delicious. You could open up a stand here. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> done to a turn. <laughs> 